Football players aren't the only ones rushing to fit in last-minute events. All activities at the Coon Rapids Ice Center will also pause starting this weekend. CTN's Jennifer Anderson was there as local figure skaters took their final laps around the ice this morning. The difficulty of these last eight months is almost unimaginable. After the governor's announcement Wednesday came a scramble to schedule last minute youth sports games, practices and ice times before the shutdown. Friday morning was the last chance for competitive figure skaters at the Coon Rapids Ice Center to get in their end of the year testing, which determines their level for performances and competitions in the year to come. Um, these skaters, you know, got back on the ice June 1st and they've been working really hard on preparing these tests, had hoped to take them in December before the end of the year. To avoid a missed opportunity for skaters to advance to the next level, judging was abruptly moved up to Friday morning. So that certainly puts a lot of extra pressure on them, but I've seen everybody be very calm and relaxed and taking a deep breath and just taking it one element at a time. All activities will stop for the next four weeks at the Coon Rapids Ice Center, including Blue Ox hockey, high school and youth hockey, competitive figure skating and skating lessons. It's a little hard to hear, but we'll get through it. Skaters like Ashley Moore wouldn't miss this last chance on the ice. It's like the only thing that makes me feel good. It's like with all this going around. So it's like the thing that I can relax and do. Well, they're all very disappointed that they have to take a pause again, but these kids are very resilient. They've been absolutely great. I've been so impressed with all my skaters and their families. In addition to the Ice Center, the Coon Rapids Civic Center is also closed, and that includes the Senior Center. Several rentals here have been canceled or postponed, and all in-person senior activities, except for foot care appointments, have been canceled through the end of 2020. Reporting for Community Update, I'm Jennifer Anderson. The Bunker Hills Clubhouse and Event Center is also closed. Dozens of events there have had to cancel. The golf course itself is open for play, weather permitting, and Kendall's Tavern and Chop House is still offering curbside takeout.